Cuteness alert, it's Wish Wednesday, and just get a look at this little guy. It's puppy love for one Valley family. Their wish for a dog turned out to be more than they ever expected. Look at how big he is. Now, oh there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> you say hi. I am Carl McClendon, um, Brendan's father. Yes, and I am Candace McClendon, Brendan's mom. He could have you know, upwards at the most seven grand mal seizures in one day. Um, always when Brendan was uh, younger, we knew that there was just something different, um, just something a little off when you look at other kids and then you look at your child and it's just like, eh, the development is a little different. Um, and so we would always let the doctors know, hey, like this, you know, he's not hitting this milestone. He's not hitting that milestone. And they would say, oh, we'll just kind of let it, you know, just let him grow up and see how things go. Have you guys thought about your son possibly being autistic? We kind of went into this range of emotion because we knew that we were seeing something different, but the military doctors just kept telling us, oh, everything is fine. And so we got him tested at about three or four years old. They diagnosed him with a moderate to severe autism, a moderate because he's very happy, mild mannered, but severely autistic. He did not talk until he was about five, five years old. And then um, first word he had said, he's a good job because he had a dog. There was a jog um, at his school. He threw the ball, Brendan, uh, th Brendan threw the ball. The dog caught it, Brendan said, good job. Ready, Brendan? <laughs> And that was the first words that Brendan had said. We kind of wanted the family, you know, to be kind of included. There you go. Brendan, there's no puppy. And as a dog, because it goes back to when he was three and four, he connected with animals immediately. So he is a petite golden doodle. He is like a red brown. He's just amazing and his name is Pluto. Oh no, no, let's give his whole, whole name. Yes. So we chose, <laughs> it was hard for us to choose, <laughs> narrow down, you know, names. So he has two middle names. So his name is Pluto, Jasper, Comet, McClendon. <laughs> so we were like, okay, you know, we had heard about make a wish, but we thought it was only for terminal, yeah. for terminal illnesses. However, they let us know that it's for critical illnesses as well to try to, you know, make sure that things are as comfortable as possible. That, you know, they can do something for up, up for children that have these uh, these critical illnesses. Everybody is just pretty emotional and it's a little depressing and you know just low. So to have Pluto come into the house, we all brightened up. We all brightened up. He just he has lots of love. Look at oh, oh yuck! Such a teddy bear. <laughs> If you would like to help grant a wish, you can donate today. Find out how at abc15.com slash wish. We'd like to thank our Wish Wednesday sponsor, Mays Teo's Attorneys, Arizona's premier criminal defense and personal injury firm with more than 100 years of combined experience. Give them a call at 602-LAWYERS or go to maysteyes.com.